into the finish and it's set. Len Söderlund alltså, Sverige kommer att ta ett efterlängda Gudemann starten i tändålen, går över morgonen ja! där! <skratt> Fan vad bra är det! Underbart härligt, applåder ja! från, från publiken, Helen Söderlund. Helen Söderlund, Helen Söderlund, World Champion in Long Distance Ski Orienteering 2011, Tändålen Sweden. Uh, please tell me about your race. It was a very good race today. Uh, I had some problems at my first loop, but uh, when I came to the to the map change, uh, my coach said that I was just uh, 50 seconds behind, and I had done some mistakes. The, then I realized that uh, this could be my day today. Okay, and you were able to catch uh, Tatiana Koslova in the big uphills. Uh, was that your strong point of the course? Yes, uh, it was a very good day for me in uh, skiing. I have felt very strong and uh, yes, it was very good. Uh, how was your feelings when you realized that you were going to win, but you could see the finish line and you knew that you was first? Oh, it was a very, very nice feeling. Uh, this is a dream come true. You, you, When you train, you really want to be a world champion and uh, this is so so nice <laughs> thank you very much and congratulations thank you Andre, congratulations on a great race today. Another one great for you this week. Uh, tell me, the last uh, downhill was really seeming to be the deciding factor. Uh, how did you decide what route you would take on the downhill? So Andre says that uh, actually he thinks that even before that was quite important. There was some open area where he thinks he skied quite well uh, to gain some uh, ground. Um, he mentions that uh, on the downhill, uh, he uh, and uh, Stefan Tunis uh, took uh, took one uh, variant, uh, and uh, that uh, he tried simply uh, to to stay with Tunis, uh, to stay calm, relaxed, so that he would have something left uh, for the last uh, um, for the last leg. I'm sorry, for the last little loop uh, around the stadium. And uh, in fact, uh, as you can see, he did. Мы с Тунисом выехали на последнюю общую петлю, где оставалось только разобраться уже нам двоим за первое место. Uh, I ask uh, what is his strategy for the last little loop of three controls around the finish, and uh, was he sure he was going to win? Uh, he says that uh, actually uh, he uh, thought he would have a good chance, but he was only sure that he would win in the last 10 meters to the finish. Uh, coming into the last loop, uh, he thought that actually probably it would be right at the end that it would be a problem, uh, that he would be able to uh, win. Um, and uh, in fact, uh, he was able to get ahead on the last loop, probably because Stefan was uh, a little bit tired maybe on the last loop. Uh, Andre seemed to have a little more uh, strength left in him. Обошел сначала первый раз без каких-то проблем сильных уж, и 
как получил стоит этот отрыв и сохранил до самого финиша. А когда я узнал, что я понял, что я выиграю буквально за 10 метров до финиша. So again, congratulations on a great race today. Thank you very much.